an architectural masterpiece, the Union Buildings is quintessentially South African. This 100-year-old building towers over the suburb of Arcadia in Pretoria. It was built specifically to house the full government of the newly established Union of South Africa, which was established in 1910. World-renowned British-born architect Sir Herbert Baker was commissioned to do the job. The building has two wings on either side to represent the union of two warring factions, which at that time were the English and Afrikaans. As the seat of government, many noteworthy events took place here including the prominent anti-pass women's demonstration on the 9th of August, 1956. It was also the venue of the official funeral for the so-called architect of apartheid, Dr. Hendrik Vervoet. In 1964, just a few kilometers from here, Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life in prison for trying to put an end to apartheid. Who would have thought that just 30 years later, he would be inaugurated on these very lawns as the country's first democratically elected black president. And sadly, it's the same place where tens of thousands of ordinary South Africans turned out to bid farewell to Madiba as he lay in state. A leading architect says its timeless design is its best attribute. It has elements of Edwardian architecture, it has elements of Cape Dutch architecture. And the most important thing about the building is its siting. It's this long building that's 300 meters long. Um, it's a true icon. I mean, every South African's proud of it, regardless of, of their generation. For most people, the Union Buildings is associated with South Africa's peaceful transition. I'm glad Mandela was our president because there was a guy who was a good um, Mandela was the kind of person who united all South Africans, black and white. And even though white people treated us terribly, he refused to do the same to them. It was hard for many people who were under oppression then, but um, now everything has changed and um, there's unity, there's reconciliation and, and I'm happy. We are thankful to our government for keeping the history and that today we get to see things like this. And even though the Union Buildings was built at a time when segregation defined society, its values of unity have stood the test of time. It now serves as a monument for democracy and transformation. Pagamile Shubi, Pretoria.